Hello and welcome to everything I use to create videos. Here you can see the game, the recorded screen recording app, and then also my editing program called Kinmaster. So first let's go into record it. Now this is the full version, which at the time I think was like $5 Canadian, which um, for context of currency, that's like a large mochaccino latte type of a thing. Not very much money for permanent access. And you can see that I've got different settings options. And I went through many different apps. I found a lot of them really lacked features, like you couldn't even change the settings or they were full of ads and it's just a lot of junk. I mean, maybe it's better now, but I really like this one. I get 1080 HD, 12 Mbps and 60 FPS. That's the maximum you can have it set to. That's what I always run it at. Even though people will tell you that the game doesn't record or even display that high on an iPhone. However, it makes my videos look smoother. If you click on the gear icon, it opens up the settings screen and there's different things like how to record your screen, shows I've got the pro version, gotta watch your available storage, don't want to max that out, and uh, FAQ section, etc. Then I'll scroll this screen down, you wouldn't have to do that, but here you could do face cam commentary or go into my recordings. Here we can see some recordings that I did previously. Now. I actually had to create all of this with screenshots because I can't show you my screen recorder while I'm using it. Now I'll do a demonstration by making a really short video. Keep in mind that sometimes it could take me six hours to make a three minute video. So this one's gonna be a lot more basic. So I'm gonna get in the Porsche 919 Hybrid Evo because it is an amazing, monstrously fast car and go to a really short speed snap where I do not have to put on the brakes at all, which you might find shocking, but that's the way it works. So I've already got my screen recorder running. I'll show you that when I end this video. And uh, so first you want to get the footage and you know what? I don't think that was fast enough. I think that I could have taken the that big corner faster. So let's manipulate this a bit. If you back up too much, you're going to get disqualified. So back up a little bit, go on an angle. This is going to give me more speed when I actually get to the start point. And that'll give me a little better speed run. I mean, hey, I'm still all about speed, right? And oh, this thing's crazy. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna wanna record the live footage like I'm doing now. You can see the gas pedals. Now, when the footage ends, um, I probably should've got a screenshot there, but anyway, go through all this and then you get to this screen. Get your replay footage now, because if you don't get it now, you can never get it. So you're gonna watch one of the replays sometimes what I do is I get a whole bunch of different footage because I don't know what I want to go with. So I might get four or five different viewpoints and edit them together. We'll just see. So this, oh, that's a cool shot. Wow, that's really cool. That's like a drone shot. Wow, definitely not blimp view. Okay, and then I'm, I'm doing this four times regular speed so you can just see what's going on here. I'm getting the normal track view. Now I'm going to get pilot view or driver view and then I can decide which of these I want to mix up. So now I'm going to get out of guided access. Uh, there's a link about that if you want to learn more about how that works. Then I'm going to pull my screen down, press the recording button to end it, go back into the recorded app, press my recordings, choose the recording I want to work with. Then I press the share button that appears in the bottom right. That opens up the screen where I can choose camera roll. And there we go. Now it's saved and I go into Kinmaster. First thing I'm going to show you is how I make hands appear in click on buttons because that's what I'm actually about to be doing before I get to the actual editing of the race footage. So I actually go into text and I use this. And what's really handy with this is that it's already like a green screen, right? Then I go into shadow. I like to create a little bit of shadow. And there we go. And I can change the angle of it. and make it look like that I'm actually clicking on a button. See here it just appears so I can make it so that, let's see, in animation, pop, make it fast. Okay, so there we go. So now, let's see here, and there we go, it pops and it looks like I just opened that screen. And I can make it so that, let's see, I'll cut that out and fade it out. And adjust fade so it fades quickly. And let's just see what this looks like. There, that kind of looks like it just popped open. Now we'll make this layer go on top of the other one. And there we go. 
there's a quick little thing on how that works. Now I'll back out of this so I can enter Kinmaster from the main screen and you can see what's going on. So here's the main screen where you can see your different projects and things that are going on. And um, here's some old footage, explosion footage. I'll get more into that at a later time. Let's get back into this and I'll go right to the very end. All right, so I want to import something. So I already put it, I added it to my media files. So I can click that. I've got photos and videos here. Click on my videos and let's see here. Where's that race footage I did? I actually saved that a while ago. So that's actually the race footage. And we can scroll through this and you can see that that's all there. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this really quickly. I'm gonna try to create this really basically. So I'm gonna go ton of, let's see, Start it right here, cut everything to the left. Um, let's see here, I'll add a transition. Uh, what do we wanna do, Dasher, Dolly? I use this one quite a lot, actually. Take a quick look to see what that looks like. Okay, so there we see that I'm about to start racing. And, oh, that was the first race. <laughs> That's not the one we actually want. Oh, well, um, no problem. We'll cut that again. All right, so the race goes by, it ends there and doesn't really matter. I'll add a cut point right here. I can adjust that later. Okay, now which of these footages do I want to use? I think I'll just use the pilot view and I can go to the end of this quickly. Okay, pilot view ends there, big flash screen. Cut everything to the right of that. Okay, so that's, and then I'm gonna cut everything to the left of this. Okay, so there we go. Now, I want to layer this. So I'm gonna take this and duplicate as layer. There we go. I'm gonna delete this one, click and drag this layer. Okay, drag it back a ways. Oh, there we go. Now, this is the difficult part. Oh, this gets difficult. We've gotta match these two screens. Oh, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Okay, so first I'm gonna put this screen, let's see here, does it say race over? Ah, nuts, it doesn't ever really say race. Oh, there, race complete. Okay, that's what I wanna look for. So, you gotta find some point that is equal on both videos. Does the replay show race complete? No, it doesn't, Oh, nuts. That makes this a lot harder. Okay, gotta find a different way we can match these videos up. Oh, nuts. Oh gosh, guys, this is gonna be hard. Okay, well, I'll have to try to guess. You know what? Okay, so that, that screen's right. I hate that pop-up screen. Okay, there my speed shows zero. Okay, that's what I'll have to go with. My speed shows zero. I'm gonna, tuck, I'm gonna pull this out of the way and let's go here to where it seems like I have no speed. Probably right about there. Okay, let's see how close that is. Um, pull this screen up. Oh boy. Okay, this this gets this gets touchy, guys. This isn't easy stuff. I warned you. I warned you. This can get really crazy. So let's go to pan zoom. Um, we're gonna pull that screen down. Okay. And I had to make it so that it's that way through the whole thing. Now I'm gonna grab this screen and uh, it's about as big as I want it to be. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Okay, that's okay. Now I'm gonna cut some of that off. Okay. Because there's not much visibility anyways. And I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the bottom. Actually, if I do that, see once you, believe it or not, once you get your reference points, you can bring back some of the footage if you want to. See, I can bring all this, oh nuts, I hate that screen. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay. Let's uh, undo that. Okay. Now let's just see how, how close that is. You're not gonna hear it right now because it's it automatically mutes it. Let's just see how close that looks. Take a watch through here. What? That was weird. Okay, I'm overdubbing myself. Here it became quite apparent that I did not line it up properly. So I had to do a lot of work and choose a different point. I was choosing the green pylon and there I've got my editing done. 
Okay, we'll make this shorter now. Okay, let's see if that lines up a little bit better. Okay, so uh, that looks better. Let's go back here a second. Yeah, I think that might be pretty good. And we'll roll forward. And... Okay, that worked pretty good. Okay, so now, let's change some of this. I'm gonna change some of the animation. We're gonna wipe down. Eh, that's okay. Not my favorite view. I don't like the big flash screen. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And I might just fade this out. I could just fade it out like that too if I wanted to. That's okay. So now, what about the main screen though? See, the main screen starts out being low. I don't want that. So, oh gosh, guys, this can get so touchy. Okay, so we add a cut point here. Then we go back to this, go back to pan zoom, undo that. We want this to stay, we want that to change. Okay, so I want that to change. I'll make it start from about there, guessing. Quick little check. The screen is slowly getting lower, you see that? You know what? I don't like that. So, okay. We're gonna make it so it goes fast by adding another cut point right here. Oops. Pan zoom equals. I want the top of the screen to stay the same. Let's check that out. Okay, now it stays perfectly the same. Once we get to that transition point, it's gonna suddenly move down quite quickly and make room for the next screen. There we go. Now we go to the end and we do the same thing there. Um, I can actually overlap them a little bit. I'm going to add a cut point there. Then I edit this. Move that up. Kind of in the middle again. Pretty close. Go back like this. Add another cut point. Do you see how I say that these can take a long time to make? Make the screens equal. And there we get our... There we go. Okay. Well, nuts. I left the app and so lost all that footage, at least this part of the footage, so I had to redo it from scratch. Here you can see that the main screen gets pushed down by the top screen. And also, if you listen, you'll hear that the audio is really close to being matched. Now, normally I'd only use one audio source for the video, but uh, it's too late because I've already saved this and I lost the footage because I saved over it. Let's watch this without interruptions. Now for a quick demonstration on how you export a video. This one's just 22 seconds. Look at the top right button there, and that'll take you to the next screen. Standard setting is 1080. You could go 4K, but it won't even display on an iPhone. Um, frame rate, I like to use 60. Uh, sorry, standard setting is 30 with a bit rate right around the middle. Let's max both of those. And again, I just use the 1080. And uh, this is, you can see how much bigger the video size is getting. Again, this is only 22 seconds the full like i've had videos that are 10 gigabytes so this 22 second video saves fast the actual video like that 15 minute long video here that'll take closer to 10 minutes to save and well there we go then it's going to be available in your photos app so you could upload it to youtube from there uploading to youtube can take a long time depending on your internet connection some of my old update videos used to take eight hours to upload when i had bad internet so wow uh, there's going to be more videos like this coming out. This is just the first one. Here's other links that I'll be posting. I'll put more links here once I get the rest of it done. Thank you for joining me.